at another island in the South Pacific. A gigantic eruption from under the water shoots thousands of feet into the air as a small boat gets way too close. Turn us around! Turn us around! That was definitely the most dangerous thing I ever did. Look, hey, look at this! That is. Next one! Five days after a 4.4 earthquake rattles an idyllic chain of islands just north of New Zealand, the weather is beautiful. It's flat calm, blue sky. Lotus Slaben notices a bizarre vertical cloud rising on the horizon at one of his favorite fishing spots between the tiny islands of Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hapai. That's exactly the spot where we caught fish just three weeks before. If you like fishing, this is paradise, this is heaven. Lota usually takes two boats in case of an emergency. But today, he throws caution to the wind and heads out with six friends in a powerful speedboat. We have to see that close up, what's going on there. 30 miles out, deep under the Pacific Ocean, along the Ring of Fire, they get the surprise of their lives. A volcano coming to life. It was just pure excitement, I think. Everybody wanted to be in front of the boat. Lota and his friends can't believe their eyes and their ears. Absolutely no noise at any eruption. That was really amazing. I love the one bigger. I mean, man. Oh, well, look how many. Look how big that is. Next one. Wait, wait. It just explodes in front of you, and the rocks start falling back down to the water. It's never more than five or seven seconds going up, probably five, six, seven hundred meters. Unbelievable. I don't think I'd want to be in a boat that was within a hundred yards of an erupting volcano. You never are sure whether there might not be another volcano that suddenly comes up right underneath you. Plus, you can have things falling out of the sky. Frantic birds returning to nests on the tiny islands right next to the volcano are victims. One lonely bird is rescued. We saw that his claws, the legs, they were totally burned. And they got caught in that steam between these two volcanoes. That was horrifying. Plenty of dead fish too around the island were just floating belly up. Drawn in by curiosity and the wind, now they're way too close to a poisonous cloud of sulfur gas. It will come very close, this smoke. So, huh? It is coming very close. Better start it up. Lota yells to his friend to reverse the boat. Turn, turn us around already. Those yellow gases could definitely be deadly. They contain sulfur, sulfur oxides, other sulfur compounds that could cause suffocation, could cause serious injuries to the inside of your body that could burn your lungs. They escape just in time as another even greater explosion ignites. Two days later, Lota tempts fate again and walks on a new island of pumice built up by volcanic eruptions right next to Hunga Hapai, the green palm-covered island, now singed black. It could collapse any time, and if you are in the middle of it, you're just gone. Weeks later, the new volcanic land starts to disappear. We found out, and talking to some scientists, they said, look, turn us around already. You're just lucky you're still here. Hey, look at this. Next one. 